All right, ladies and gentlemen, how are you guys doing today on this Friday, December the 17th, 2020? Welcome to another metallic episode of Music of Destruction, bringing you the best in metal-related content right here on YouTube. If you missed anything in the past week, click that eye in the upper right corner of the screen right now and get caught up on all of my latest videos. If you'd like me to review or cover anything, please make your suggestions down in the comment section below. I have a number of suggestions, uh, viewer requests coming up in the coming weeks, so get those requests in, no slam or death core. If you don't want to hear me rant about how much I hate shit like that, don't request it, please. And thank you, I would very much appreciate that. Welcome to Metal Album Warfare Fridays here on the channel. So tonight I am pitting two absolute brutal death metal heavyweights head to head of course with these two awesome albums Nile Annihilation of the Wicked going up against Cryptopsy Blasphemy Made Flesh and you know I figured these two albums are both jaw-dropping astounding and so goddamn brutal and visceral that pitting these two albums head-to-head -head would make for an absolute killer episode of Metal Album Warfare Fridays now, if you want to know the history and biography of each of these bands, then you could check out my reviews of, of Niles' Annihilation of the Wicked and Cryptopsy's Blasphemy Made Flesh in the Metal Album Reviews playlist. Alright, so let's get right into it here on the channel. First up, we have Nile Dusk Falls Upon the Temple of the Serpent on the Mount of Sunrise versus Cryptopsy's Defenstration. And the opening track for Nile is a slow build of an instrumental that's got some great Egyptian ambience and things like that, but it's not a metal track. Cryptopsy's Defenstration is a full-on brutal sonic assault on all of your senses with tons of conviction, passion, emotion, great riffs, drumming, bass, production. We're going to give the first point to Cryptopsy's Defenstration. Next up we have Nile Cast Down the Heretic versus Cryptopsy's Abigor. And you know, both of these fucking songs will rip your face right off your goddamn skull and break every fucking bone in your body from their headbanging inducing madness. These are both amazing tracks, brutal fast, heavy technical, and downright atmospheric as hell. Amazing brutal death metal tracks. I'm gonna give a point to both Nile and Cryptopsy on this one. Next up we have Nile's Sacrifice Unto Sebek versus Cryptopsy's Open Face Surgery and both of these tracks again Brutal, visceral, uncompromising, violent, passionate, convicted, and technical death metal done right, but with that great atmosphere and brutality and production that makes these two bands so awesome and exactly why I pitted them against each other here on Metal Album Warfare. So I'm going to give a point to both Niles, Sacrifice Unto Sebek, and Kratopsi's Open Face Surgery. Next we have Nile Usur Matre, I believe is how you say that, versus Kratopsi's Serial Messiah, again, both insanely brutal, dark, emotional, visceral, violent tracks with some of the fastest drumming I've ever heard from both of these fucking geniuses on the kit. Guitar riffs are so great on both of these tracks. Bass comes through thundering underneath. Vocal uh, Vocalists on both these tracks are absolutely amazing. So we're going to give a point to both of these as well. Another tie. Next, we have Nile, The Burning Pits of Duat versus Cryptopsy's Born Headless. And again, two heavyweight tracks with the best ingredients that Brutal Death Metal has to offer. And I fucking love both of these songs, so it was really difficult to pick a winner in these two. Because both of these albums, you could put them side by side and play them one after another, and you could see why I decided to feature these two fucking heavyweights. Both of these songs are brutal, fast, visceral, dark, violent, aggressive and very convicted, passionate, and emotional, so I have to give a point to both Nile, The Burning Pits of Duat, and Cryptopsy's Born Headless. Next up is Nile, Chapter of Obsions Before Giving Breath to the Inert One in the Presence of the Crescent-Shaped Horns. Wow, try saying that one ten times fast. Versus Cryptopsy's Swan of the Cross, and you know I gotta give this one to Nile. This song has so much atmosphere, intensity, brutality, and violence, and emotion and aggression that I just had to give this one to Nile because it's such an atmospheric, brutal death metal song. Cryptopsy's Swan of the Cross is no slouch, but I am going to lean towards Nile on this one. Next up, we have Nile Lashed to the Slave Stick versus Cryptopsy's Ravaged. And you know what? These two tracks, side by side, fucking violent as hell, brutal, fast, uncompromising, deadly, 
putrid, disgusting, amazing, brutal death metal. Both of these songs deserve a point, so we're going to give one to Nile Lashed to the Slave Stick and one to Cryptopsy's Gravaged. Next up, we have Nile Spawn of the Yomente versus Cryptopsy's Memories of Blood. And you know what? Both of these tracks, fucking brutal, heavy, dark, visceral, and violent. However, I am going to lean on the Cryptopsy side with Memories of Blood on that one. Coming up next, Niles, Annihilation of the Wicked versus Cryptopsy's Mutant Christ. This one doesn't even need to be talked about that much. Both songs are absolutely fucking incredible, but I am going to give this one to Niall because Annihilation of the Wicked is like my favorite Niall song of all fucking time. So goddamn good, but Cryptopsy's Mutant Christ is no slouch of a track either. As I said, both of these fucking albums belong doing battle here on the channel, and I'm going to give this one to Niall's Annihilation of the Wicked. Next up, and finally, we have Niall from Unspeakable Cults versus Cryptopsy's Pathological Frolic. And again, brutal death metal done right with those technical aspects, fast, visceral guitar riffs, sudden tempo changes, great vocals, bass, and production on both of these. Very emotional, passionate, and convicted brutal death metal on both of these albums, both of these songs. So we're going to give both points here to Niall from Unspeakable Cults and Cryptopsy's path to logical frolic so let's add up the scores for each album guys so annihilation of the wicked comes in with eight points blasphemy made flesh just underneath at seven points so niles annihilation of the wicked gets the slight win but this album no fucking slouch from cryptopsy either i mean annihilation of the wicked takes it here on metal album warfare but that doesn't mean blasphemy made flesh is anything to scoff at it was really hard for me to pick a winner in this battle, believe me. All right, guys, so there you have it. Another Metal Album Warfare is in the books here on Music of Destruction. As always, I sincerely hope you enjoyed tonight's episode. And hey, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on that bell so you don't miss anything when I post a new video. Follow me over on Twitter and Instagram at Music of Destruction. If you want to join the Facebook group, promote your band, YouTube channel, podcast, or you just want to do videos of you playing guitar, whatever it is, anything music-related for metal, join facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash music of destruction we'd love to have you there the seed episode 28 the history of iron remained in part one up on patreon right now if you'd like to support the channel and get access to these podcasts patreon.com forward slash music of destruction select the five dollar tier for just one dollar a month i'll give you shout outs on my channel possible youtube collaborations just make sure it's metal related content your support going towards new equipment lighting bigger green screen setup bigger studio out in the living room uh, that brings me to my next point, Colton James and myself doing our first movie review, reviews on the run, our brand new movie and game review channel here on YouTube, and it's going to be awesome, we're just saving up money to get all the equipment we need, but this Sunday we're going to be going live on reviews on the run, our first stream there to let you guys know what's coming up on the channel and all the different ideas we have for content, but now let's check out a brand new clip he just made in November. And we are back, guys. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great night, and we will see you for Album Review Tuesdays. Cheers, everybody. Have a great weekend.